stay down. This shit's getting tired. Hurry it up. These fuck. Hey, thank you. This should do it. By the way, I'm Mike. I got the bodies piled up outside. Guess we better do this. The sooner you find what I need, the sooner you get behind the wheel of this bit. Some fucking vacation, huh? I can help you out, though. You need a weapon, I'm your guy. Bricks and baseball bats can only take you so far. Torch them. They burn real easy. Get yourselves a couple of Molotov cocktails, and you can burn up a whole mob of those motherfuckers. You bring me a couple and I can make you a few cocktails, if you catch my drift. Absolutely. Good. I'm gonna need some empty whiskey bottles, vodka, whatever. There should be some around here. So you wanna burn those bastards or what?
Can somebody help me with this bloody door? Hey, remember me, mate. I'm the doctor, but I can't do much without medical supplies. The door to the infirmary is locked from the other side, and Anne's in critical condition. You think you can help me break the bloody thing down? Yes. I appreciate it. Go on, then. Go in there with those things still flying around. Take them out! Good on you, mate. Now let me get to work. And Cindy didn't make it. She passed away during the night. Mike buried her down on the beach. <laughs> Kelly, please, I just never listen to Cinnamoy. <sighs> Why the hell did I stay here with Cinnamoy? I should have listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? Sure. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll be here. Because, I mean, you know, where the hell else am I going to go? Kelly's worried about her husband, Will, but I think he's probably okay. If you happen to be nearby there, can you see if you can find him? Yeah. His name is William. He's about six foot one, black hair, good looking. He's a concierge. He has a friend named Doyle who works in the Diamond District bungalows. I'm thinking maybe he's hiding out there. Some of this. you're alive. When we left Cinemoy, you looked like Jesus. Anyway, you better go see the giant. <coughs> I'm sure I'll be surprised as hell to see you still alive and kicking. Follow me, I'll take you to James. 
I'm sure he'll be glad to see you still alive. James will probably want to talk to you first. He's in the back there. You should go talk to him. James is at the top of the lighthouse. Go see him. Where the hell did I put that? Everything is so fucked up. I need more champagne. I fucking love champagne. Can you find some for me? You find me champagne, and I'll give you whatever I have. Whatever you want. You got it. You like sweaty? Okay, baby, we're going to party. Now find me some champagne, and not the cheap shit. I need champagne. Ho 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 ho! Stop spinning. You're making me dizzy. Max sent you to find me? I can't believe that crazy bitch sent someone to find me. The whole world's going to hell, and the last person I want to be with is that goddamn wife of mine. Look, take the money and whatever else you want. It's no use to me anymore. And tell her... Tell her I'm dead. Believe me, it's for the best. <laughs> Where's my champagne? I want you fucking drink till I fucking drop. Ah! <laughs> 
You gotta help me! Taking a look. Oh, poor son of a bitch. I thought he'd make it. Guess I was wrong. Thanks anyway. Appreciate the help. The sooner you find what I need, the sooner you get behind the wheel of this bitch. Yeah, this is Omar in Bungalow 26. I need help here. I ran out in such a rush, I left my necklace behind at the hotel. 
Uh, it's in Bungalow 6 in the silver section. My husband gave it to me. It means a lot to me. I'm offering a reward. Can you help me? Yeah. Thank you. Please be careful. Ah, man, Maggie was right. What a bloody disaster. I need you to... <laughs> nope, not necessary. Without the proper support. <laughs> That's it, then. There's nothing I can do for her. Can of whoop ass. My husband, he's bleeding. Can you? We need help. What the? What a bloody disaster. Nothing here at all, is there? We need to think of another way. Will you help me? I need you to locate an ambulance or one of the lifeguard vehicles. Inside, you'll find a paramedic bag with all the necessary equipment in it. I'm pretty sure I saw one by the diamond bungalows. I can't really turn you down now. Uh, you can't hope I? we'd all be six feet under by now. Or bloody walking corpses.
gonna bury your ass! You just saved a lot of lives, mate. You may have even saved Anne's. Thank you. James. Yes, this is it. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Here's the reward I promised. Thank you. Damn it, this is hopeless. <clears throat> hey, I'm Dominic. This piece of shit antenna is too weak to reach past the island. We need a signal amplifier to cut through the static. I worked on an antenna at the lighthouse nearby. I'm sure they got an amplifier there. We wouldn't last a minute against those things, but you, think you can get it for us? You got it. All right, excellent. You bring it back as soon as you can.
fucking freak! Talk to James first. He's the one in charge. There's nothing I can do from here. Holy shit, you're alive? I'm James. Now, we're working on sending... I'll do what I can. Hey, unlike uh, Cinemoy and his crew, we're not... Can Further up the coast, there's a couple ships... No, no, I'm good. Well, then when it comes time to go, you're gonna be shit out of luck. You changed your mind? Gonna look for those flares? You got it. Good. And when the help finally does get here, and we get their attention, I guarantee a first spot on the chopper. Where the hell did I put that?
Where the hell did I put that? Steven is looking for me? Oh, I wish he had... Could you please tell me? 